Yo, how's everybody going? The Aussie Planeswalker here, and today I'm going to be doing a new series on my channels. It's not going to be a daily series or anything, I'm just going to do it randomly. So, it's a series I like to call, Is It Dead? Now basically, Is It Dead? It's about a series where I go over some um, recent like gimmicks or something to the MTG um, community and see if they're dead or not. Like, for example, like, is a certain like, like a certain gimmick um, in like a certain set um, gone? Like, like artifacts? Is it like totally gone from Kaladesh and Aether Revolt? But it's got to be a little more than that. Now the first. And the first episode I wanted to make, since Hour of Devastations is like an hour, an hour, a week, a, a week, a month away, I thought I'd do a video on is Eldrazi's dead. Now it's some people pronounce it Eldrazi's, but I like calling it Eldrazi's. So yeah. So first up, let's start off. Um. Uh, like back to the basics. So Eldrassi started like at a three three set block with um uh, three different sets. Um I only remember the name of two of them but uh what was it? There was Zendikar, just normal Zendikar, um and Battle of Battle of Eldrazi. There was one in the middle but I can't remember what it is so yeah it started with those with all the elder Aziz or something um so yeah that's how it all started and then very recently in late 2015 and early 2016 there was a sequel set called um uh, first battle of Zendikar and oath of the gatewatch which i thought it was oath of the gateway i thought it was that for a long time so yeah, anyway, um, uh, that's where Eldrazi started. It had a lot of good cards, it was a very good set, but I just don't know how Ulamog the Creator's Hunger was legal and not banned. How? Well, anyway, so yeah, they kind of did that and they kind of did it again. They did another thing, which was Shadows of Innistrad, um, a, a sequel set to the Innistrad block, which was very, which was basically kind of the same thing with um, uh, the original Eldrazi's one with like Zendikar, but it was like a little later, like a few sets forward. Anyway, so they had Shadows of Innistrad and Aldrich Moon, which had Eldrazi's. Now these were different Eldrazi's, or like horror themed Eldrazi's, not the kind of ones you see in Oath of the Gatewatch and um, uh, Battle for Zendikar, but you know, they're kind of all horror, they're all horrifying creatures, inexplainable um, supernatural creatures, so let's just get that out of the way. Anyway, so, so the next block was Kaladesh, now it's um, uh, it's Emonkhet. Now, um, uh, I don't know. I don't really know much of the new Hour of Devastation, or that except that um, that beast I did on the video was actually Nicole Balos, and I actually did like a Planeswalker versus Planeswalker on Eugene and ba um, Nicole. So yeah, I might have been a noob for that. And. Anyway, I think I like saw like this creature or something, like reach out with his hand or something, start attacking. And I thought that was like an old Razzy. I'd have to look back at the trailer and do a whole video of speculation about that. But if that's true, then old Razzies definitely won't be dead. But who knows? We don't. I don't think we know the whole card set by now. It's um, it comes out in a month, so. Yeah, it's not like Pokemon where you can like see the cards that are coming out in the newest set via um, Japan because they get the sets like a few months early. It's not like that, so yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, um, unless if Amon, unless if all this devastation might get Eldrazi's. Eldrazi's are not dead, but could they get a reprint set? 
Well, that's hard to think about because I don't know. Like, there's been a, some sets that had reprints, like Modern Masters, for example, but that had like three reprints. I'm pretty sure, including this year's 2017 one. That was like this. That was the original. That was like a 2013, 2015, and 2017. I'm pretty sure so they did like every two years so then we might see another one in 2019 but i think that was kind of like a reprint of the subset this like conspiracy and conspiracy 2 but because um of the gatewatch and balfour zendika were main sets and they're also sequel sets but while like modern masters like different reprints i um i would Sorry, I can't talk. I would um, uh, suggest or call them extra sets. What I mean was, like, like here's an example. So this year, early this year, on January, there was um, Aether Revolt, and then on May, or was it on May? No, on April was Emlyn Kit, and in between that, around March or February, or I can't really remember, but in the middle of that was the reprint of. Um, uh, Mono Masters, but you know, um, uh, them Alpha Zendika and both of the Gatewatch are main sets, so unless if they get like um, different forms and like different sets, um, uh, th they totally won't be dead, um, like an hour of devastation. But I'm not completely sure, I'll probably have to go through the trailer again, do a whole speculation video. So, yeah, that's basically the videos so overall unless if they get a reprint the upcoming our devastation or some other set and they get different forms but a, um, another sequel set that could be possible but they haven't really done a sequel set of, a, of another sequel like we might see a sequel of like um, uh, the fate reforged or like the whole block I, I'm pretty sure it's not called fate reforged block but I'm just making an example. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. Comment down below if you wanted to see another video in the series. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And also, we might not be seeing another Planeswalker vs Planeswalker. I might cancel the series. Um, uh, there's not much demand for it, so I might focus more on this one as I am also focusing on my Pokemon channel. So. Yeah. Also, from this camera angle, it looks like I'm growing a mustache. Is it? Okay, I'm probably just being weird now, so. Yep, I'll see you in the next video.